How's it made? I'm getting stuck in to some sticky tape. So stick around, you might learn something. <laughs> you see what I did there? Step one. Tiny pellets of a substance called cellulose acetate are melted in large vats. These will make the clear plastic part of the tape. Step two. The melted plastic is spread over wide conveyor belts and dried to form a very thin clear plastic sheet, which is wound onto giant rolls. Step three. An adhesive. Oh, that's the gluey, sticky bit, is prepared. Oh, different types of tape use different adhesives. Some are strong, some are the sort you can reposition. Step four. The clear plastic sheets are rolled over the adhesive, picking up the sticky stuff as they go. Sometimes they'll be treated with another chemical first to help the glue attach evenly. After being coated, computers check that the layer of glue is even. The glue dries quickly, but sometimes ovens are used to speed up the process. The sheets are then wound onto new rolls. Step five. It's then just a matter of cutting the large rolls into smaller ones ready for the packaging. Step six. Quality control is a very important part of any manufacturing process. Out of each batch of tape made, a roll will be tested. One of these tests might include rolling a ball bearing down a slope onto the sticky side of the tape. If the tape has been correctly manufactured, the ball will get stuck. If not, the tape's not up to the job and will be binned. Well, that neatly packages up that topic. Now, I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.